Hi guys! This is a very impromptu video because I decided to use the Cover Girl Gets Get Cover Girl Rets. Why can't I speak? The Cover Girl Ready Set Gorgeous foundation yesterday, and because I, I explained this when I first hauled it sometime last year, that I had to buy two colors because they're both kind of off for me. So I'm color 315 and uh, 320 mixed. Like I wore them yesterday. And they just looked so amazing on my skin. Like the makeup was there all day. It didn't budge. And this is how I applied it yesterday. I'm using the Stippling Powder Brush by e.l.f. And it's a brush that I've had for a while. I think the handle may have broke off and I think I glued it back on because I really liked it. Um, I didn't formally mix the foundation the way one would to want to get it blended in perfectly. I really kind of just did half and half on my hand and I stuck my foundation brush to take half and put on my face. So you, you can see it looks a little bit um, lighter, but it's blending out. And the key I find with this foundation is to just leave it on for a few minutes, even like five, ten minutes if you can. I know it's very hard. <laughs> we typically want to get ready and just be rush, rush to go. But I, when I applied this foundation yesterday, I realized that like I left it on and then I probably went and tended to lunch and stuff and I came back and I was like, whoa, like my face was nice and matte and it just looked really cool. So I think that was probably the biggest key that kept my foundation in place and looking nice and matte throughout the day. Because that's not normal for me. Whenever I usually do whatever I need to do and then I'm rushing to go out the door and I apply my foundation and my makeup on real quick and I'm heading out. So that was the technique that I used. Um, I didn't have to set it. I didn't even set it with like a powder. I think I may have just used my powder brush and just kind of briefly just went over it like two seconds. Not like real setting it because it didn't really need setting at all. So I didn't do anything. It was just this and you can see it look at my face like look how awesome that looks it looks so natural I really had to come out and show you guys um don't mind my ghetto look I've got bantu knots and I'm gonna take it out so maybe I'll do a video on that perhaps I'll record that but look how natural this foundation looks guys look how natural it looks like it's unbelievable so you put it on and it just seeps I don't want to say seep into your skin, but it just becomes skin and it doesn't oxidize throughout the day. Like I said, it stayed pretty matte. I didn't need to do anything. And when I applied it, I didn't use a primer. I don't know why. For some reason, I treated these like they were um, tinted moisturizers in a sense. And I didn't feel the need to, to first apply it with any primer. And then again, yesterday when I was going out, I was just rushing out the door. So I, I didn't really care because I wasn't going to be gone for very long. But I ended up keeping it on the whole the whole day for like seven, eight hours. And it was just like this. Like it looked fabulous. And then to remove it, it comes off rather easily with makeup wipes. This is like ideal for summer. Summer foundation. Summer foundation, if you're looking for one. It's definitely awesome. It is an oil-free foundation. I just saw that. That's probably why it didn't... Uh, melt off my face because yesterday was really really hot so that is it guys sorry I didn't come on doing a full demo but by the time I, when I was applying it I was like oh shoot I should do the video because I one I remembered yesterday and I was like I remembered that it was just a huge success wearing it and that's why I'm gravitating towards it so now this is probably going to be an addiction because what happens is once I start liking something and I use it I tend to use it all the time because I don't know I just do <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Let me know if you've tried this and what your thoughts are on it. Because like I said, I know different things work differently for people of different skin, texture, skin combinations or and whatnot. So let me know what you think of it. If you've had this experience and um, or if you this is a drugstore foundation. So let me know what your go to summer foundation is. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and share my videos, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.